know if you guys will be able to see it, but late season wildfire up here. Oh, well, that's interesting. So uh, we'll, we'll see if we can even go hiking because that's over where I want to go. We are up at snow line now. It's not a lot, but where I wanted to go, I can't go because there's a big fire right now. Well, this is turning into uh, where the heck am I going to go hiking today? Because, I mean, I knew there was going to be hunters out here. It's hunting season right now. But every trailhead is no parking space right now. And I figured for a Sunday morning, there would be like nobody. But apparently everyone had the same idea as me to come out here to the UNS. So this is a little disheartening. I like my solitude, so um, I'm going to head back up over Bald Mountain and uh, find, find somewhere to go, hopefully. What's up, everybody? <laughs> As you can tell, it's been kind of a morning. Um, had to make a bunch of different plans. Um, got here super late because nobody in Heber City wanted to drive. It took me 45 minutes to get through there. So, starting here at about 11 o'clock, I got a couple hours before I got to be back down in the valley. And uh, we're gonna go out to a couple lakes, get some fishing in. Uh, and just try to try to have a good time, you know? But uh, let's, uh, let's get these five miles under our belt today. And uh, we'll see you when we get there. Good old Reed Peak right there. Bald Mountain's behind us. It's pretty sloppy. You can see the fire down there just going. It's kicking up a lot of smoke right now, so. <laughs> um, but luckily there's a big highway and a couple of lakes in between me and it. So I didn't know both these lakes were so close to each other. But now we're at this next lake. Look how beautiful it is.
Well, Clegg Lake, as beautiful as, as it is, um, there's just no fish. I fished here for about 30 minutes and uh, nothing. But, you know, I was left with a beautiful view. That's what matters. <laughs> Haven't been out for about a week. And I figured since we've had a heat wave and a lot of the snow is burnt off up here that I would give fishing a chance before they they officially close it up here at the end of hunting season. So that's fast approaching. So, but we're gonna go hit up this other lake. I believe it's called Notch Lake. And uh, we'll see if we do any good. Put your dog on a leash, it almost attacked me. Two things. <laughs> One, uh, look at that fire. I mean, that's probably third. That's just a, it's just a little one. Two, I realized that, uh, yeah, I forgot all my fishing tackles. So I have one lure to try this entire time up here. And three, <sighs> keep your dang dog on a leash. <laughs> I don't care if he's nice. Put him on a leash. There's wildland animals up here. And it's just good, good etiquette. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna keep on heading down to this other lake and uh, see if we can't get some fish over there. Another beautiful lake. So this little mountain range right here, on the other side of it, is Ibn Tick and Meadow Lake, where I did a video, I don't know, at this point, like six to eight weeks ago. But we're coming up to another Meadow Lake, is what it's called. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try our fishing here. We're gonna have about a half an hour before we have to turn around and get back to the truck. Excuse me, it's actually Notch Lake. My apologies. Well, summer wasn't too kind to this lake. It's almost non-existent. So look at this view from this lake. It's gorgeous. Well, the fish are surfacing everywhere and they're taking it, but they're just not, just can't get the hooks out right. So it's, uh, I don't know, this year's just been really hard for fishing for me, especially up in these areas. I mean, sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. But I'm going to eat my mango slices and head back. It's almost 1 o'clock right now. And then, uh, you know, get back to the truck, head on home, and uh, get back to the work and the dad stuff and the husband stuff and the adulting and whatnot. But it's been good to get out just for a couple hours. It's been It's been nice to have a reset, especially with a stupid... BS that's been happening at work lately. Um, if you're new here, I work at a prison, so I don't think I need to uh, uh, elaborate <laughs> what kind of BS I, I deal with. 
Um, but definitely don't deal with as much BS as the officers um, or the corrections officers that work there. Anyways, enough of me uh, rambling, uh, but just going to soak in the rest of these views and uh, head on back. So thanks for following along, and we'll catch you on the next edition, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. It's, uh, it's been good. Thanks for following along. Subscribe if you haven't, and uh, we'll see you then. Last look at Clegg Lake. did come up and over the mountain. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the fire up there. Wow, this camera's really good. But, uh, that's where I was supposed to be hiking today was through this area. But, wildfire. There we go. There's a better view of it. So, I wonder if they're just doing like pile burns out here, but who knows? <laughs> All right, guys, I just realized I forgot to do my outro at the trailhead, um, but there was actually a big uh, gang of uh, Hell's Angels up there, so I just wanted to get down the mountain because, uh, you know, uh, I just didn't want to have any interactions with them. <laughs> uh, but as you saw, there was the fire and uh, that's where I was supposed to be hiking today, but now we're heading out. Uh, should be home soon, and I uh, just want to say thanks for following along again, and uh, we'll catch you on the next, and uh, we'll see you around.